It's all about perseverance, determination, will, spirit, all sorts of things that Joel Ward has. Talk about a guy that paid his dues to get to the NHL. You can't get any better than Joel Ward. Joel Ward, just a great role model. Good. Okay, and I'll do... Well, Joel, it is so good to see you. Your road to the NHL went through Scarborough like so many others. What comes to mind when you think of Scarborough, Ontario? When you think of Scarborough, Ontario, multiculturalism, diversity. Those are the two words that really stick out. You know, just growing up there, it seemed like an underdog mentality. I think that kind of instilled us at a young age to strive and do as well as we could. And some of us made it out in a positive way. And you know, just very thankful for the opportunities doing so. You were one of the founding members of the Hockey Diversity Alliance. What would you say about the, the evolution of the group since you formed the Alliance in what, summer of 2020? The most encouraging thing I think with the group is to see the response from people. We had our Tape Out Hate campaign to uh, make awareness of, of the topic of racism. And at the same time, we're still dealing with racism in the game in 2022. Coming off of the heels of Willie O'Ree, getting you know all of the accolades that he deserves. Over 60 years after he broke the color barrier, do you sort of just shake your head at what we're still dealing with? Uh, yes, 100%. It's just so sad. It, it, it really breaks my heart, to be honest with you. And you know, everyone says hockey is for everyone. And the problem is, you know, hockey's allowed racism. There needs to be consequences for these, uh, for these actions on these individuals. And until hockey puts her foot down uh, in doing so, we won't see change. Is it anger? Is it sadness? Is it frustration? Or is it, is it all of the above? It's all the above because I have two boys now and it breaks my heart and I love hockey. I love it more than anybody and, and to see what's going on on the ice and off the ice in these situations with these kids, it's disgusting. It's a double-edged sword, you know, these incidents, Jordan Subban's incidents, Boko, but it also brings awareness too. I know if these incidents don't happen, nobody's talking about them. And then we, as people of color, got to keep bringing it up because nobody cares, nobody wants to talk about it because it's an uncomfortable position. And that uncomfortable position is what we have to face. I've been facing that in the hockey locker room since the age of five and six. As you get older and you're, and you're dealing with some of these situations, it, it, it's hard to wake up in the morning, want to go to the rink because of some of the stuff that you're going to have to face. Knubel cuts in, backhander, Thomas the save, scores! Ward buries the puck and the Capitals have upset the Bruins! When Toronto-born Joel Ward scored the overtime winner for the Washington Capitals last night, it was a high point of his career. But what came after was a low for the sport, a flurry of racial slurs. You know, as a person of color, it, it can be a lonely place being in that locker room. I encourage everybody out there in the hockey world is to, whether regardless of what league or, or age that you're in, is to have these uh, discussions and have dialogue and have these open conversations with one another. You spent four years uh, playing at the University of PEI, so I know it's a place that's near and dear to your heart. And, and sadly, it's been in the news for all the wrong reasons as well. You look at the player Keegan Mitchell, who was suspended for criticizing hockey PEI in how they dealt with a, a racist incident that happened on the ice. Now, they, they since overturned the suspension, but what did you think when you first heard about that incident? I was very, very disappointed. Keegan Mitchell, you know what, hats off to him. Um, you know, we, we need more people like him, to be honest with you, and uh, just for for that gentleman, just to stand up for his, his teammate um, was remarkable. And you know what, if he never spoke about it, he probably wouldn't hear much about it. You can't help but just tip your cap to a guy like Joel Ward. The road that he took helps him because of what he's earned along the path, and he's just an amazing guy. Well, hockey is still your life, uh, but now you're behind the bench. You're an assistant coach yes. with the Henderson Silver Knights, the Vegas Golden Knights uh, American Hockey League team. What's that transition been like for you? It's been amazing. I love it. After I kind of finished playing, it was something I, uh, I wanted to get into a little bit. I played under some great hockey coaches over the years, so I was under a lot of great hockey minds. And for me, just to kind of keep that in, it would be a shame for sure. So. 
uh, this is my way of kind of giving back and kind of sharing all the small stuff that I've learned and hopefully I could pass it on to some of these guys and they can move on and live out their dreams. Well, we sure enjoyed watching you for all those years. Keep up the great work and the important work that you are doing still in the game of hockey. Thanks, Joel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Scarborough.